No, no filters, filters on the podcast. Yes. yes. What's up, y'all? We are tuned into another episode of No Filters the Podcast. I'm your host, Honey T, and I'm here with my host. I'm Nay. I'm Nay the pimp. Fuck bitches, get money. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Nay. And I'm Shauna the Stallion, aka Shauna the Mama. <laughs> and we have our guests here, Kendall and Thelma. What up with it? Hi. So for people who may not know y'all, do y'all want to give yourselves a little introduction, tell them what y'all do, what y'all been working on? Yeah, sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so as she just stated, my name is Thelma, aka TB Media. So I cast models for any project, females, males. So any artists that are in Cincinnati or out of state, they come to me, book the models, you know, survive from there. So that's mm-hmm. me, TB Media. For sure, for sure. And I'm uh, Kendall Mathis. I'm a videographer. I own Shooter and Company as well as Studio Media Company. And uh, I do music videos, weddings, anything videography related, photography related. I can do it. So, yeah. Okay, okay. Well, um, we're about to get into our topics, of course. Um, and first, for our icebreaker, we want to talk about types. So I feel like everybody has a type. Some people say they don't have no type. I feel like that's not true. I just don't, I don't believe that. No type. I don't believe uh, that. You don't believe people can have no like type? Men, I feel like men say that because they just want to fuck. Like, they just be like, I don't got no type because they just want to fuck. Well, you don't really have a type when it comes to pussy anyway. So it's yeah. like, you're going to fuck whether she got a bag on her head or she dog. Not a like, bag. Uh, yeah. I mean, honestly, that's just how it goes. Right. Like, I really think I that's how type. it goes with yeah. me. You have a type? For sure. Yeah. So have you ever dated outside of your type? Uh, Wait, no. First, what is your type? Right. Yeah, let us know. I'm like, you gotta have a cute face. If you ain't got a cute face, I can't deal with it. That's it. So look, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Look, look, look. Bag on the face and all the. The face is the first thing for me. You could be skinny and pretty as hell, and I'ma still try to holler at you. So okay. Yeah. So looks the top of the list. So basically, so looks. you discriminate against thick bitches. Yeah, I'm on no. that. No, he just what? said it. Well, I'm better. If you pretty, <laughs> you winning. <laughs> but if you ain't, you know what I'm saying? I like, like that. You pretty, you winning. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Shout out to all the I'm pretty girls. I'm going to use that. For if you sure. pretty, you winning. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. So what about y'all? Do y'all feel like y'all have a type? I don't think I got a type. You, you just have to give me the right vibe, the right yeah. energy. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like, because if you look for a certain person, it's not gonna go well. You know? Yeah. And when you expect for things, mm-hmm. you're gonna be disappointed. So right. I don't really have a type. It's just give me the same energy that I'm looking for. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, you gotta yeah. be fine though. Yeah, definitely. Gotta fun. be fine as hell for yes. me. Yeah. Yes. yes. It's I get bored. So she said it's not just yes. the vibe. I'm gonna hold you. I like vibe. I'm a little <laughs> medium ugly. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Give it one too. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Yeah. No. Because the good looking niggas They be too hyped in the head That's true And, and yeah. I can't handle that in I mean movie. I would say that's true But then again it's not I've just never been attracted to like pretty boys Yeah like, that's What's a pretty me. boy though? <laughs> a pretty You know pretty boy <laughs> Like pretty boy hella into itself mm-hmm. yeah. Like oh, yeah, no, that's waves different. on swim You so know Yeah them. Damn near metrosexual Like you damn near yeah. metro I mean like, nigga can't control how his hair looks No Man, that's just one of the traits. Well, a popular trait of like a pretty boy. You know what a pretty boy is. Okay. Chris Brown. You think he's a pretty boy? Of course. No. Not no, anymore. No. Well, he used to be though. He yeah, he yeah. definitely used to be. He definitely used to be on that light skin shit. Yes. Drugs and stress. <laughs> drugs and stress done turn my nigga out. I like, think I he used looks to different. have a type. So like a Drake I don't so mm. much now. Drake, Drake I feel Drake like Drake is, Drake is a pretty, pretty boy. boy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Drake, Drake is definitely, definitely a pretty boy. Yes, Drake. Like but a Drake. I say Trey Song's more of a pretty boy than Drake though. Well, Drake is more Drake like... Drake is the ultimate pretty boy, literally. Oh, yeah, bro. He's it's just okay because Trace- he's Drake. I feel like Drake... Trace- right. I agree. He might be Facts. giving him a pass, but I don't know. Mm. Mm. It, it is just okay because he's Drake. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. That's Drake. Right. He, he's mm-hmm. unique. Who, who gonna say something? Yeah. I wouldn't say that I have a type now, but when I used to, trying to date outside of my type, it never worked because the guys that weren't my type, they tried to be... The guys that were my type, you get what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Yeah. To try to, and I'm like, nah, you don't even gotta do be all that. that. Yeah, like, just be yourself. I feel like when people see what you've did in the past, they try to low key adapt to yeah. what that is, even though they may not even realize that's what they're doing. Mm-hmm. Some understand. people can do it like consciously, and some people unconsciously. And they don't even know. Yeah. You might be trying to get away from exactly. What that and you, you know what's so crazy? Up. These rappers, they rap about thick bitches and all that, but they girl be looking skinny as fuck and all that. I'm yeah. like, hold up, y'all not matching the, the baby vibe. mamas don't never. 
The baby mamas that. don't never match up what they be talking they about never in their songs. Which I never did. So it's like, do y'all yeah. really got a type or y'all just talking? Right I feel like it's an image thing yeah. at the end of the day. It's like, just something to put in the lyrics. That's what's mm-hmm. popular. That's that right. type is what's popular to date. So mm. that's what they rapping about. I feel like when you I was know? younger, I had more of a type. Me right. too. That's now, why I said like, back in the day. Yeah. Now it's like, uh, you got your shit together. Yeah. yeah. I feel like I grew out of the, I just the type you thing out. too. I wouldn't say I don't have <laughs> no, no type, but... Like over the past years, I've been trying some stuff that's been a little different. Okay. <laughs> so and I, I liked it, and I didn't think I ever would. Like me, like three, four years ago, three, four years ago, <laughs> I would never date like or even give people the time of day that I have. But I'm glad I did. Like it all, like it worked out. So I feel like it worked out for me personally. Dating outside of my type, but. I go for vibes too, like you. Yeah. Like energy, my first language. So if you got good mm-hmm. energy, like that's what I'm gonna be attracted to. You have to be fun too, cause I get bored easily. Like mm-hmm. I'm not no Netflix and chill type of girl. Right. Like that's cool, but I like to do fun shit. I'm adventurous. Like you I like want to travel. Chill, baby. Don't be mad when you I'm when I'm asleep. Right now. I mean, yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. 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 I mean, but don't yeah. get don't get used to only that. Like, Especially since we're finna get shut back down. Yeah. Y'all think we're gonna get shut back down? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I, I yeah. think the winter's gonna be bad. School, yeah. school opened school's already up open. Up yeah, mm-hmm. too fast. And, they yeah. a mask. and now they're finally coming out and saying that the people that are vaccinated are dying. Are st- Mm. So they're and probably, just, they're probably still, dropping that fact, and I love it because you could still get COVID. Out there, please, right. you could still yeah. get COVID with the vaccine. And I, they never said that you I couldn't too. That. From my understanding, they were saying that you could still catch COVID with the vaccine, but it the just symptoms wouldn't be aren't as bad. As but you can still spread it. But so it's like okay, you don't have as bad as symptoms, but you can still spread it to somebody who may not be vaccinated. So let me ask: Are y'all vaccinated? No. no, anybody. My whole no. family is, no. but me. And so they keep I asking never, me why. No. Are you? Yeah. Do y'all think it's like a generational thing, or like I don't you know? Because we pretty much millennials, right? What year were you born? Twenty. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> y'all, I'm so drunk right now. Oh, you're drunk already. Ninety six. Ninety six. Oh, okay. oh, well, that's only twenty five. Yeah, I'm 25 so. th- on Thursday, guys. Oh, okay. Happy early okay. birthday. It's Leo's Happy season. early birthday. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was going to say Leo. So, wow. like, my, my two parents, my stepmom and my dad, they're both vaccinated, mm-hmm. but all together, our blended family, we have six kids. There's six kids. Mm-hmm. None of us. None, yeah. Not None the of kids. Us. What about your parents? No, my parents are vaccinated, and but their the children? Kids. Yeah. No. None. Yeah. I think yeah. the generation before us and before them relied a lot on doctors. And, mm-hmm. like, yeah. they're more of, like, Natural We're more, remedies, a, more like, towards holistic healing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, say, yeah. I really, I really feel like it's just too much misinformation on the internet. So yes, like, and that's making everybody yeah. think certain ways. Yeah, yeah. you can't trust the government, so right. oh. you know. I mean, that nurse was giving people placebos, like I said she was. I told y'all. I, I, just, I, I, told I told y'all the stories about nurses giving out the I wrong told, stuff I as told vaccines. Told y'all they was giving out placebos, whether it was accidental or not. I just, I just wish not. they could be more honest with us, and then maybe we had do something. I mean, they don't want to be honest. That's a part of the agenda. I know. And since we are a generation of the internet and of information is easily accessible we can find what's hitting and what they're trying to keep away from us so that's why I feel like we're moving away from doctor yeah you know believe in what we were taught and what our parents were taught I don't understand how a vaccine can like be free but like Chemo is not. You know what I mean? Yeah, right. that's what like, I'm saying. Like, y'all have all this money for all these cure vaccines. cure the HIV and AIDS. Like, I'm not sure they can tell me they don't know. Cancer is a bill. You still gotta pay for a flu you shot. You still gotta pay for that. When you go to the hospital, you're like, have you taken your flu shot? And I'm like, no. That's on your bill. I know so many people that got the flu shot and still got the flu. Yeah, I never got the flu shot either. See, y'all know something that's crazy? That's just crazy. I never got any vaccine ever in my life. Even for school. Nothing. Like, I was raised Rastafarian, so it was against our religion to get any vaccine vaccine and everything that people had to get vaccinated for I never got right like ever mm-hmm. so and I look at you you're so healthy yeah so I haven't like, had COVID mm-hmm. either so I'm just like alright so you, you never, never had, had COVID? COVID no oh baby I had you had COVID you been telling me let me tell you I, I, I never COVID. got it I, I never mean, got it I had the first never? time it came out I didn't know what it was oh did you I was blessed you had it you had it I ain't go get tested I just knew like knew you had it right this the thing this how it happened first of all put a date on it first before you even let me let me put a date on it know. like Adi said. Okay, so first off, y'all know I'm a bartender or whatever, so I be That's all in the mix. Remember the when we were shut down last year and then they opened us up like right around the summer? That's yeah. when I got it. That's when I got 
like the Newport. everybody. Oh, oh, you know what? You were one of the cases. <laughs> I was, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, I went in here then. Okay, you were one of the cases. Of them. And crazy. there was a whole bunch of talk about where people got it from, and oh, it was from Newport and all that. Let me tell you something. <laughs> everybody in this dumbass city <laughs> go to the same place. Yeah, right. whether it be Newport, whether it be here, whether it be there, we all go to the same place. So how are you gonna pinpoint where you got it from? You don't know, right? That's what I didn't you know. They can come out and be like, well, all these people got it from a baseball game. Like, like how do you? How do you know? Know? So you can build that natural immunity. immunity. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And that's what a vaccine is. It's but a small you, dose of whatever the virus is so your body can naturally can build immunity. Antibody. So if you do mm-hmm. get it, then it can already fight against it. But that doesn't work for everybody. But, truth be told. I mean, some people some people just got, you know, previous medical conditions to where, right. you know, it affects them. It's, it's probably medical. smarter to get it yeah. as an as older adult because like yeah. my dad, he has congestive heart failure. So mm-hmm. for me, yeah, go ahead and get it. Mm-hmm. My stepmom, she has some stuff going on. So for me, yeah, go oh, ahead and get right. it. But right. it's for your healthy six children that don't really have no medical issues or I nothing. I think it's necessary. Oh, cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I ain't gonna hold y'all. Let me tell you, <laughs> that time in the summer, that was the second time. You're not gonna tell me that in 2000. Listen, this is my yeah. theory. You know, black Put people always got a theory. <laughs> yeah. Put a date on it. At this the end of 2019, the winter of 2019-20, I don't know if y'all remember, but a lot of people were sick real bad. Mm, like yeah. two weeks, three weeks, yeah. didn't know what it was. Mm-hmm. It, it was, was COVID, COVID, bro. Yeah. Yeah. I went to the hospital. Yeah. They told me I had, they took 30 minutes to run my flu test. Why? Who knows? Influenza B. So I was sick. My B. dad was taking, exactly. What's my dad was taking uh-huh. care of me, right? <laughs> So, you know, when you taking care of somebody that's sick, naturally, what's going to happen? They get sick. Mm-hmm. So, my dad goes to the doctor. They tell him it's an upper respiratory infection. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, what happens when he lays in bed with his wife? She, she gets, gets sick. Right. So, right. what happens when she go? They couldn't even tell her what was wrong. This See? was before they actually knew. Yeah. Like, it's COVID. COVID. I said, bro, that shit was COVID. You're yeah. not going to tell me no yeah. different. Yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely. No different. Okay. So, basically, to get back, to the original topic. Um, oh, fuck COVID. Yeah. Right, basically. Period. <laughs> but, um, okay, so everybody, so <laughs> you said you type, you have a type? Um, well, I'm tall, so I like tall, but other than that, yeah. No. You don't have no what like- if he had a good vibe and he was short? You just gotta you, go you never know I'm who your husband's gonna you be. You gotta give up. We cool. Because I, mean, yeah, I like to wear heels and things like tall, that. Because so yeah. I'm, I'm short, so yeah. I can't date no tall girl. Why? Yeah. Yeah. Why? You ask her? Would you? No, would you? Just like, if she, if that, I want to go out, she put on heels. I'm going to feel so, in, like, not even intimidated, but that's like, damn, what's up, baby? <laughs> 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 Do you know how many guys that have been like, put your heels on? Some of y'all like the trees. That's their type, though. Like, my type, I got to be either eye level or, like, a little shorter than me. Like, because. So your type ain't just a pretty face. It got to be a short bit. Yeah. Right. Right. It's stipulations. Yeah, yeah it's I got couple... stipulations. I mean, then the energy stuff too. But, right. you know, yeah. like, I don't know. Like, So could you date like a you bad a bitch with a bad personality? Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but that ain't going to last forever. Like, right, yeah. You, like, you can fling with a bad I'm on, bitch I'm on a whole different type of time now. Like, I'm getting older. I'm right. like 27. Yeah. I can't be looking at a pretty face every yeah. day, but your attitude is terrible. Like, mm-hmm. It's true. It's some. You got to have something more. You got to have a... I mean, I'm just saying, but you just said you would do a pretty girl. You would talk to a pretty girl. It's just not going to last long. So basically, rip. you just rip. play You're going to talk to her and hit her, but you get older. You want some serious. I might not even hit it, though. Cause right. I, I don't you just might about test it out. That's test good. it. You know, like, you never know. That's like know. a later thing, like, cause you gotta know what you're getting into. Like, if I'm mm-hmm. about to be talking to you and I open up another can of worms, now I'm hitting you. Uh, you know, you got more to deal with. Mm-hmm. I'd rather just figure you out first and then right. see, like, all right, mm-hmm. yeah, I can deal with her. She cool. And mm-hmm. I, I think that's just from experience, though. Like, mm-hmm. when I was younger, I probably would have been like, yeah, yeah, I'm about to da da. But mm-hmm. nah, now. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got too much going for myself. Yeah. I can't go. Yeah. Okay. I feel that. So let me ask y'all this. Could y'all date somebody who has a past of being a hoe? Everybody like, has a past. Now, when you say, like, when you say being, a being a hoe, do you mean, I mean like, like they like just smashed a lot of people like, or They got a lot of bodies. Know. Like a pass around? Everybody um, know. Reputation or not? I'm gonna let y'all start because I can say some hmm. shit. When you said like a pass around, like a girl, girl guy that was passed around, like a nigga that you like, know, you like know somebody you know, you will go and shake their hand. Mm-hmm. You hit my bitch. That's what you're talking about. Nah. nah. They hit, they okay, he's gonna go last, so I'm gonna start with us. Okay. okay. Y'all know 
We be outside. We be outside. We know, who the, we know all the whole we niggas. Know who, we be like, yeah. that nigga. We he, know he who the hoes fucking. are. Especially and working we in the even, bar, like, you know when in the yeah. yeah. And we yeah. eat yeah. at home. Thursday. Remember when we <laughs> See, I couldn't do it. On a podcast, no. We talked to uh, Mo was like, I done even had some people, I know my friends, they done passed the nigga. Like, you know, mm-hmm. he finna do this, whatever. Yeah. Pass his ass. He ain't no good, no way. Mm-hmm. I ain't about to but. marry him. You ain't about to marry him. Yeah. You know, so. So, know, you, so would you do that? Them, though. It's being with them. It's being, being with them, yeah. yeah. I ain't being nah. with them. No. I think it's best uh-huh. if someone that, like, they have to not know somebody to date them. Like, if you already know yeah. them, don't. Yeah. I, I can do it. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm you not. say no. So like, I, I can't. It's mm, I don't know. Situational because it's it just it kind of go both ways. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. you know, it's like if everybody you're dating somebody that exactly, night. and everybody like if you're dating somebody that happens to have a big circle, like and like maybe y'all went to the same school or maybe y'all was like around the same people. Like you can't really say like mm-hmm. well, I don't want to fuck with you because you fucked with somebody and two I, years ago. ago. And right. I like, yeah. hold you. Yeah. I, you know, against me. I didn't even know you. I wasn't even thinking about you. I didn't. And, the older we get, it's more opportunity yeah. for that. Yeah. Cause y'all gotta think about it. We like what, 27, 28. So we might know 26. a nigga that used to be a whole 21, <laughs> 22 and probably change his way. Oh, so but you, in our so mind, it don't matter no more. And then basically, I won't say it don't honey. matter no more, but like where you at on your hope? Yeah. Yeah. So, like, 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 are you trying you to get a hoe age. and you want to get a hoe? Like what you trying to do? Right. If you a yeah. hoe and you ain't give a fuck about none of the bitches that you fuck with, but you come across to me, and you give a fuck about me and you fuck with me and you do everything a, yeah, a man's supposed to do. And you're not your home no more. Yeah. What, what, I mean, how can I hold you I'm, for that? Uh, Conflicted. I feel like wholeness can be deleted. <sighs> yes, like Jaya say. Definitely. Yes. But I'm going to say this. Unless everybody done hit. Like if all right. your boys done hit. Yeah, right. that's, 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 that's a different story. That's a different story. But then you got to understand different. too, I ain't talking about no personal boys because it's like, who was I? Who was on the uh, podcast with it? Uh, Button them. Mm-hmm. They were saying like I know a lot of people, and I'm sure you know doing what you do. You know a lot of people. Yeah. So if it ain't so I don't know. I don't know who be hitting who though. Like I don't know. Facts. That. Yeah. Facts, the only facts. way I'm gonna find out is if I ask. Now right. so I ain't gonna lie. He would be lying. Sometimes to like yeah. when so. you looking when you looking for a new prospect or somebody you talk to, <laughs> you got to check the whole facts. You got to be like, hey, bro, you hit her just or before you get to the point of yeah. liking them. But too then much. sometimes yeah. that ain't even accurate because a nigga lie just because. They trying to get some shit that you got. Yeah, yeah you know niggas be lying. They, they, they might niggas see you out there and be like, yeah, I don't hang with I too many that. people. So if I yeah, ask I somebody, I know they're going to keep it real. Because then they're going to do the same with me. Like, hey, bro, you know her? Da, da, da. So, you know. Yeah. yeah. I feel like for me personally, I've dated a recovered hoe. How did that go? It went good. It's a recovered hoe for me. <laughs> so, did he like change his way for you? Or like, he did. Like, but how do you know? I know for sure. No, I ain't gonna say too much, but I'm just saying he he was right. He did right by me. We just didn't work out for other reasons. It didn't have anything to do with cheating. Yeah. But I know that he used to be a hoe. Like, um, and it was cool. Like that was probably one of my like best relationships. But this was like it. a couple years ago, like early twenties, and we just kind of grew out of each other. Yeah. But. I know he used to be a hoe. Mm-hmm. And when he got with me, like, he knew I was what he wanted. So, mm. nothing else even mattered. But right now, would you marry him? Now? Yeah. Absolutely not. Yeah, but that's probably for the reasons why y'all separated. Yeah, like, we outgrew yeah. each other. Like, we just... Mm-hmm. It was just outgrew. It wasn't because yeah. he was a hoe? Nah, okay. he, like, I know, I know for a fact, like, he never cheated on me. Like, I, I know for a fact. For a fact, for a fact, a hundred percent. But my question is, that's what how it? close me and him was. Like we was literally one. We got the same birthday and everything. That's how I'm telling y'all. So yeah. I know this nigga. I bet you that's how PJ. So Washington my thing feels. is, what is a? Ho- well, we about to get, we about to get you know, into what, that. What, but what, what, is go a, ahead. what is a hoe though to y'all? Like a nigga, has their ways of a like, nigga that messes with a lot of females. They don't necessarily got a for no fuck reason. Just for no them, reason. Just for no. But they reason. feel like they need just for no reason. It'd be a boredom thing, probably though. I do, and if they're single, they're just they're in their whole face. You know, everybody yeah. got a little whole face. So when right. are they just bored? And then if you're attractive, like it's easy. It's I mean, we all have we had a whole face. Yes, we talked about that but in let's, our I early mean, episodes. But, I mean, like, can we be honest? We like, had like we've all like had whole faces. <laughs> However, everybody, well, everybody got, got that rotation. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you got a rotation. But if you like this bitch Monday, that bitch Tuesday, another bitch nah, Wednesday, that's, that's, that's another crazy. house. That's, like that's some how to be a player. He was a, he was a, no, but you in the club and you like, you know what I'm saying? You in the club, you meet different bitches and like all the yeah. other shit. Like he was that's a being a hoe to me. I played the bitch. I 
Well, he was. He wasn't. Uh, hands, are you yeah. always? Yeah. Are you always in a bitch face? Like that's yeah, being a hoe. Too much time. Oh, that's there, nigga. That's some hoe shit, though. Yeah. That's some hoe shit. The difference with his tone is is <laughs> he's in a bitch face. That's some hoe shit. He wasn't a compulsive hoe. Just business. He wasn't dating like hella women at the same time, but he had day one girl. All right, cool and hard. Date the next girl. Like he was mm-hmm. one of them type. He wasn't so that's like, a hotel. But at dating the same time, how can you say that's dating. a hoe if mm-hmm. you're fast to move on? If you know a motherfucker ain't shit and you tired of them wasting your time, move on to the next motherfucker. Right. How is that? It's hoeish. Yeah. It's hoeish. I think okay. everybody has their own way of yeah. describing what a hoe is. That's why it's like, yeah. yeah. It's, it's it ain't no way you of right, because I don't really like the hoe. Like, like, well, you need to wait 30 days until you go, like, move. Don't want to do it. So, like so we grown as honestly, we grown as fuck. If you yeah, want, if, if we right. meet and I want to fuck, so if you, you want to, so do y'all believe in a thirty day rule? Is that being a hoe though? Right. If you meet, rule? So, What's the if y'all met somebody the same day and y'all feeling each other's vibe, and y'all grown as fuck. Would you? I mean, if you wanted to fuck and he wanted to fuck, would you go? Yeah, nah, I'm me. Cool. You said no. I mean, no, when I got younger, yeah, Not but nowadays you gotta slow down because these motherfuckers be tweaking. Mm-hmm. That's true. Yeah. Like you so, can you can smash somebody today and then tomorrow they on some whole other. Why shit. you being like weird a, to me? Like a whole That's, yeah. Right. Well, I had no yeah. problem. Yeah. 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 Y
your it's a ten year difference for me. That's yeah. not a yeah. that's, that's a big the bitch. Thing. That's, a big it is that's a big years, difference. Though. Minus the fact that she's not under age. There's nothing wrong with it. However, if he's in high school, if he's in high school, seventeen, eighteen, she's probably at least twenty five, twenty six. Why are you going to a high schooler's basketball game? He is good. Okay, so he he did Washington. He plays for the Charlotte Hornets. Okay, he's twenty two. Was born in ninety eight. He's twenty two. He's six seven. Yes, I think they're gonna power get him, like, forward number twenty five. He was in a twenty nineteen NBA draft round one pick twelve. Ah, uh, yeah, he cold. Round What's his one? stats though? Did he play? He cold. Let me look it up. <laughs> Let so me he's look 22. it up. How does yeah. she? She's like twenty six, twenty seven. Could y'all date somebody younger than y'all? I mean, I've no. never been a younger Every girl yeah, I date no. younger than me. That's probably my But that's problem. different though for Shit. dudes. I for feel like it depends on how it you're depends on the you, different you're using him at this point. It dep- that's what I'm saying. She's a predator. Yeah. yeah. She preyed on him. I want to say him. if you see me in about 10, 15 years, I ain't married, I ain't never been successful with no guy yeah I might go holler at me a little young I'm talking about but, this uh, right now uh, <laughs> right now with you butt, know what I'm saying with She's butt and um, I might fuck with your little 25 year old ass maybe <laughs> <laughs> we talked about this on the episode with butt and red yeah yeah, yeah. if I'm I said when I'm 40, 50 I, I know I'm still friend. gonna be fine so <laughs> if I wanna give me a little 30 something I might do that but yeah. it depends on the maturity level because I don't want to yeah. yeah, like she went to the bag it all it. depends on that <laughs> she went yeah. to the bag she ain't, but, she ain't yeah. Yeah. generation after generation there's always girls like that so for me PJ I just feel like your you're parents didn't teach you no better growing up in a black household when you know you're going to be good at sports your parents know you're going to be good at sports they start telling you from jump right watch out for this and watch out for this known, watch she out put for this. a whole like, book especially mama, especially she put out a whole mama. book on this black about mama. her wholeness yeah do you think That's he so actually good. knew though? Cause he had. To. Why would you do your research to. before you have a it big little no girl? Way. You dating? You dating? They was in a relationship. That's but what I was he's saying. Not like, like, she's not like, a random like, girl. Highlight. These young like, kids is different though. Somebody Maybe he knew she was researching. You gotta think he about it. To some he's signs. he's somebody in the NBA. Somebody around him had to tell yeah. him about that girl because she didn't deal with past NBA players. He's ten years older than her, so I would be sitting here thinking, "What do this bitch want with me?" Exactly. But he was too worried about what she want with you. You a ball player. He might have just been falling in love with her, you know. Like, so you think he actually liked her? She, oh, she did. She, 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 she took advantage she of his immaturity. Like, oh, I yeah, think so. Yeah, and he did. probably was out here doing him too. Like, this he a, probably she, was. And it's so a whole sad. background story. She just. Yeah, and it's so sad because no matter what, so much. he has to pay that girl. Yeah, yeah, he has to. Even mm-hmm. if the judge wait, finds wait, wait, wait. out so that she married. wronged, yeah. I don't know about married, but they have a kid now, so all of that married, it don't even matter. Oh, yeah. she on, he on child support type. Yeah, yeah. he has to pay her two hundred k a month I mean, until the baby is eighteen. Why two hundred k though? How the hell? What if that nigga player, get hurt? What if he? That's all for him. That's over. He going to go. I'm trying to figure out who is her lawyer. His wife. Who secured this deal? And she's over there riding horses on Instagram and shit. I'm like. Oh, yeah. This bitch crazy. Let me tell you something. <laughs> LeBron better not never do nothing because Samantha gonna get Savannah. Sa- um, what I say? Sa- Samantha. Oh, that's, that's the liquor. I know Savannah. That's no, 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 LeBron. Savannah LeBron. Get it all. LeBron got them eating NDAs. I ain't gonna hold you. Oh, Jay Z yeah. said it. I done, I done heard about that. Nigga. LeBron James to you, Amber Roses. He said that shit. He meant that shit. Fact. Yeah. Sure. He definitely got some NDAs. They smart about it at this point because I just seen a post today that smart, said though. his wife ain't no dummy. Yeah, and I seen a post today that said that but LeBron. But why would you leave LeBron? But why would you leave Savannah James? Hold on. Right. 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 Yeah. Yeah. right. I don't know too much about Savannah. You know. I'm just yeah. Don't do. Don't do our Savannah. The backbone LeBron. of LeBron. You the talking about? I don't know about. Look. Look the at his back. back. Turn around. Look at the spine. That's Savannah. LeBron. Almost 20 years, so he yeah. know what to do now. Like, I just seen a post today that said yeah, him, him and Carmelo is the only two players left from the 2003 NBA draft. For real? Damn. Yes, him and Carmelo. Damn. So, he been in the game going on, what, 20 years now? And it's time he know what to, to do. He know how to deal with these girls. Yeah. Yeah. I had yeah. somebody told me that they had a theory that he was waiting for his firstborn to get in the draft and that he and was going to play one year with him uh-huh. and then gone. But I believe it. Damn, I think, is you think I'm going to get a ring this year? Y'all see how them players Man. going 
Lakers. Yeah. 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 If they, they don't get a ring, shit. that's, that's <laughs> they old. It's time to go. I think they got Melo only for a year. Like, yeah, I think oh, he, yeah. Signed a, he signed a one year deal. He ain't even got no ring. But I'm not surprised. Thing. I think so that's that all he wants is a ring. Yeah, yeah. He I mean he's probably gonna retire too because him and Lala just broke really up. Like, they're the well, they, they yeah. been broke up for real. And I really real, feel terrible because like, even though really... the last you know NBA Finals, Giannis he might have John however the fuck you pronounce it, <laughs> he probably deserved a ring. But damn, Paul George, he deserved a ring. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I mean, and if he didn't get it now, it, it's it's over. Yeah. Chalk it, my nigga. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the chalker for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so if y'all found out you were dating somebody who had a past you didn't know about, like hoe or not, and you found out about their past, would you continue to date them? I ain't gonna lie. I was in a situation one time where <laughs> I was dating this girl and... Man, she did she did some grimy stuff. Like I ain't even know. What she do? I'm curious now. I don't want to get too deep into it. It's no fuss as a podcast. Can you, can you give us a do? can you right. give her a general right. so I description? Know. I was da- I was dating a girl for like a year and a half, two years. Mm-hmm. Mind you, I'm talking to her, everything cool, this, that, and the third. Right. One day I get in the car with her. She's driving me up the way to go see somebody in jail, quote unquote. She claimed as her uncle. But oh, me what? Hold on now. She hold bold. On now. <laughs> Midway in this car ride. I'm just thinking in my head, like, why I ain't never hear about your uncle that's in jail? Like, right. From your mama, your daddy, nothing. And then she started busting out crying, like, oh, <gasps> well, it's not really my uncle. Of course, I got the car to turn it around from there. But mm-hmm. long story short, she was doing some behind the door shit, talking to a dude that she used to talk to in jail. Right. So it was like, when I found that out, it was kind of rough. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's yeah. like, and you was with her? In the car. Going up to the Was y'all together? She was about to take you to London. She took you to her. Why was she so bold to do that, though? That is bold. That's what I'm saying. You like, thought what she was made a her do you that? You shouldn't not fuck that with that her. Right. Right. So, <laughs> yeah. she, must have, she must have felt some type of attachment That's to bruh outside of me. Obviously, if she felt the need to be bold enough to bring the nigga she fucking with with her to go see another nigga. She put in she your visitation slip with your nigga. She loved them. Like, we I want to go in the jail. Well, well you didn't know right. where you was, was going. I was in the car. I was her, her uh, rider. You know what I'm wow. saying? Right. Why would she I, bring you? She's dumb. I wouldn't First not talk to her because she did that. I wouldn't not talk to her because bitch the audacity <laughs> that's you know what I'm saying? saying so it's like the be, disrespect it's always yeah. the audacity for me depending on how deep it gets never. so it's like yeah. Yeah. Did you, you cut her off I, after I that right way more after that too yeah yeah so once you once she bought enough to do that ain't no telling what else what she, she could do doing. yeah yeah. so would y'all hold a nigga females, down fuck crazy bitches guys, get money but I will say we females are a little sneaky though I'm not gonna lie girls way more sneaky than guys we're very easy we that's the power we talked about this last episode they tried to they tried to come for me and CC. We ain't gonna get into it. Because mm, Scorpios yeah. are sneaky. No, the fuck we're not. <laughs> we're not sneaky. That was the issue. I'm not. We're I'm just, not sneaky. Females are just better at hiding. Like, we, we are. We're just better if at hiding. We need to. Yeah. That's the only thing we need to hide. Better. I did that shit. Better. Niggas are stupid. Yeah, and she said wow. that. Did y'all see so the video? Really comes no, up. no, but did y'all see the video I'm that was going viral? The video that went viral. This is something that she made a couple years, I guess, before she was dealing with PJ. She basically said, if you want to trap a nigga, trap an athlete because they're dumb. Yeah. Like, they don't use condoms. That I heard. And yeah, it became so factual. I'm, that's what I'm trying to figure out. How, like, how did you let that get past you? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Maybe he thought that she was perfect in a line. You know how niggas be like, oh, she just, she, she just it's talking. Slow. Yeah. That's dumb as hell. Who knows? Who really knows? Who really knows? Who All really athletes knows? are dumb. They're All not. All athletes yeah. are not yeah. dumb. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But he's really young though, so I feel like it's an immaturity thing at the same time. That too, because these boys are getting younger and younger. As long as they do that first year in college, Mm. that's it. Go to the draft. But hear me out. All athletes are not dumb. Ninety-eight (laughs) percent of them are. So that's two percent. Get your bad girl. Get your nah, let me stop. Cause she wrong. I mean, yeah, she wrong. Like, wrong. I don't want to be devil's advocate, but if it was flop, we wouldn't have shit to say. Yeah, cause like yeah, I, ain't, even, I ain't gonna be funny. Like if it was girl, even, dude. Because I see really some women, say, some like, women yeah. are saying like, that they didn't feel bad. Like, like, like a nigga can't finesse it. But going into my thing, nah, niggas be trapping females. Facts. Yeah, they do. Many ways. What you can sit a girl down for a whole nine ass months. That's, that's damn near yeah, a year. That's true. 
Yeah. 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 Women do get trapped. Y'all don't just serious though. I, mean, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, it's up to y'all, honestly. I like, some I know, I guess if she's balling, if she balling, I trap her. But if she ain't balling, what the fuck? I oh, so you what? go trap? Yeah. yeah. Oh, so you a trapper? <laughs> right. If she balling, let me finish. Right. Oh, <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah. We ain't I mean, editing this out. <laughs> I, mean, I got my own, so I ain't necessarily got to trap nobody. But if I was nothing, yeah, I probably would. Yeah. Mm, I guess. Makes sense. Yeah. I mean, it's just like mm-hmm. what girls do. But the do. whole thing, the whole thing to me about trapping is like Melinda Gates. You should want to have <laughs> a kid with somebody you at least get along with. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't want to argue with you or or bicker yeah. about who might be around my kid because you're responsible enough to know who should or sh- who shouldn't be. Right. I don't want to bicker about daycare fees. I don't want to like. Right. We literally in a generation where every other day I'm seeing somebody bash their baby mama, baby yeah. daddy on Instagram, yeah. Facebook. I'm personally sick of it, so don't post it. Don't, I, I want to see like that shit. shit. Yeah. I want to see that shit. Now, was y'all date somebody with a kid? <laughs> <laughs> Why not? I have. I have. I have. Yeah, oh. I have. Y'all have? I, I will I, never do that shit ever again. That's, I learned my lesson. I mean, I, I did. Didn't, okay, I didn't have tell, an us, issue, tell us about yeah. it. Mm. Tell what us happened? about it. You don't gotta be specific, it's but just, just a little general, you know. At the end of the day, they're always gonna defend their baby mamas, you know what I'm saying? Because mm. it's like they had their first child. I felt like I was just like the rebound. So he only had one kid. One kid. Fuck niggas, get money. How, okay. old, how old was the kid? <laughs> Three. Mm. Nah, that's, that's we talked know. about that. That's, that's, we don't do that. If you got a kid, that motherfucker got to be at least five, six, seven. <laughs> But do you know how to make his own noodles, baby? I can't. I can't help. So it. no newborn. They had to. They had to be grown. Able to work a microwave. If your kid is, that, that is, with me. you <laughs> can't talk to a uh, like as far as a guy. And if you're a guy, a girl, however it goes, you can't talk to a girl well for me a guy I'm sorry you can't talk to a guy that has a baby that's too young cause they still fucking with the baby mama I yes. don't care what you say yeah. and you can't have you can't talk to a guy with a kid that's too old because once they get to that that stage that age they not trying to hear shit you talking about yeah. you not my mama I don't gotta listen to yeah. you and baby guess yeah. what I don't, got, I, don't, I don't got time for that I'm, mm-hmm. yeah. I don't got time for that I yeah. feel like if you got a kid you shouldn't bring the other person around your kid until you know, you know for all sure. The way together and stuff. Yeah. Like, where y'all gonna be together forever? Or right. not even forever. I'll take that back. For a long mm-hmm. term, because anything can happen. But, yeah. nah. I mean, I got a daughter myself, so mm-hmm. I ain't bringing no other people. So, how around. do you I feel think like if you have a daughter or a son, you, you need to date somebody with also a kid? That's just me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I feel like, I feel like yeah, piece. y'all can relate. It ain't even my that. Piece. It ain't so even do you feel that. Like you gotta having... be able to separate it. Like, right. it really yeah. gotta be. But I ain't gonna hold you. Like... I done tried the stepmama thing, bro. It it's never not... worked. Yeah. I, I, I never tried to be a kid's stepmom, though. Personally, no, like, if I dated a person that had kids or got to have kids, like, I never wanted to be that child's stepmother. Like, anyway. But at this age, but see, okay, it's like, we cool. I can see what you're saying when you're just talking, you're casually dating or whatever yeah. but now that we getting older and shit I'm trying to really look for my husband yeah. yeah. so when I meet a guy he got kids I'm thinking about so do you feel like Stand again what meeting your husband I was just checking your post oh. Oh. I didn't know who you were for a second I know oh, right? I that, for real Pick I went down. out oh, I'm so so your your I was so just checking your post so I meet a guy time. and I'm starting to mm-hmm. talk to him yeah. right now in this day and age I want something serious yeah. so no, if you have right, kids you then they attached to you they yeah. attached to me mm-hmm. but yeah. it, it, it ain't mm-hmm. been working it's for not me. gonna work it it's, not more, it's yeah. not gonna work so mm-hmm. y'all never successful, successfully dated a nigga with a kid never I successfully never. dated a girl with a kid I don't think it was a problem I mean, at all I'm and I didn't like so break up with them because of their kid so you don't think she's over there out there so it's like you and your kid yeah. Um, no, no, for real. So do you no, feel like it's, baby, a, but... it's a mental thing. If you can yeah. mentally take your situation and just deal with it, you cool. Like I don't see why a kid should change anything. And so maybe it's because niggas still be fucking with their baby mama. Yeah, no kids. Y'all no, gotta, that's why. So, if y'all had so a kid, do you feel like you being a father? If y'all had a kid, y'all ain't gonna want to be discriminated against because you got right. a baby. Like that's but my you gotta think about the other person who's single. No, mom got a kid and she'll tell us in a heartbeat. She ain't dating. Well. 
<laughs> man, but that's her she situation. Serious. Everybody's situation is different. Like that's true. Facts. If you ain't dealing with your baby mama, why is it a problem that I talk to you? Because mm-hmm. even though you don't deal with your baby mama today, it might be tomorrow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. Oh, niggas be on that. Be on that. Oh, and you know out. that, Kendall, bro. Mm-hmm. Niggas I mean, be on yeah, that. But you gotta be honest with yourself and the person that you with. If you with somebody that you really willing to like be with, you ain't gonna mess it up. The gonna, only way it's gonna work out is if the it's no baby daddy, the baby, the, the baby mama is no longer like if she like basically has a dead. Nigga. Yeah, nah, dead. Or she's, <laughs> not dead. With, or she's not gonna it's fuck no, no because it's no different. It's no different. It's no different. It's no different. I mean, if even the girl is single, mama, she's going to want the baby mama. daddy back. <laughs> even even if a nigga don't want her, she gets her mama. That's, mama. Mama. that's the same thing as having an ex-girlfriend or an ex-boyfriend. No, no. It is. No, 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 it's no attachment. Yeah, you. What? There's no attachment. I ain't going to lie. You don't have nothing holding out. I ain't going to lie. If you really want to be with if you really want to talk to the other person that you used to talk to, you still going to do it. So let me ask you this. Has having, being a father, had that affected your dating life in any kind of way? Yeah. Of in course. what ways? I mean, just the thought process of who I'm about to date. Right. Or who oh, I want to okay. talk so to. It so do you, you feel like it raised your standards? Who approaches you. Yeah. Of course. Yeah, because now I'm thinking about, damn, I already got a kid. I don't want to have another one with uh, anything. So yeah. are you just kind of like casually dating right now? Or are you kind of like dating a look for some real, serious. some serious? Uh, I wouldn't even say for some serious because my last relationship was super serious. So I'm trying to date. Taking a break right now? I'm trying to date to have fun and You're find trying to be somebody. A Nah, you can no, say Find somebody to be cool with. I say, bro. What's cool with? Y'all kill me with a the month. cool with. Chill right. with oh, shit. What? What the fuck cool is cool with? Been with. Been for a month. I need a dictionary. What the fuck is cool with? A month Please. is barely single. Because what is cool with? I have to know what what's cool, cool with is. Like, yeah. she don't give a fuck about what's going on. Like, like y'all. Y'all can do y'all, y'all exclusive. What's cool with? Because I really cool don't with? get it. I feel like you should have to Glad rush into nothing. My last cool. relationship, I rushed into it. So, I mean, oh, you don't. Okay. That, but that's you said what it was your child's mom? Yeah. Okay. But you said it was serious. I said, like, I feel like if you, you get to know a person 90 days, 90 days to like six months. And yeah. then that's it. And then from there, you could decide if you want to be with that person long term or not. Okay. Yeah, okay. Y'all ain't even got to be necessarily having sexual relations. So you want to date Y'all first. Y'all just dating. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You want to date first this time I'm about around. to be 27 on Monday. I ain't got time to be. Oh, you a Leo too? Burger. What we doing, y'all? Leo. 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 I, ain't t- I ain't got time to be like smashing mass girls, doing this, that, and third. Okay, like, but what we doing? I'm, I'm about to go out of town. Where you going? Uh, Dallas. Okay. When? Friday. You ain't uh, ask us? Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's already set in stone, man. It's already set in stone. But, but uh, is you going with a boo or are you going by yourself? It's a vacation, it sounds like. I'm dolo. Oh. By yourself? I'm going with my family. You took too long to answer that. You why going with your family? Why? I was going to say, why make sure you go to Dallas Cabaret. I'm going to make sure you go to Dallas. Okay. Just make sure you go to Access City, Dallas Cabaret. I love Dallas. That's my favorite place to go. Yeah, I'm going to have to get that list from you when I leave because I don't even know what to do out there. I'm going to my favorite strip clubs. I'll tell you. Dallas. Oh, he's done strip clubs. Okay. Mm, she like to she like real way. She like to get freaky. Real way. Texas strip clubs. Why you gotta be different? freaky to go to a strip club as well? <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. You I used to go to. Freaky? I used to go to a lot of strip clubs. I ain't never threw a dollar. I swear to God. <laughs> you just you just sat there looking. <laughs> swear to God. What are you? Don't go to a strip club. I used to I used to go with a lot of the artists that I used to work with, but I ain't never been that. I ain't never been that type to where I don't like community pussy. Like if it's if everybody can touch it, grab it. Not even not even be fucking though. No, it's not even that. The strip club it's is the an fact experience. that you want to be in the strip to club. Me. I don't I love show strip your club. body to I everybody. I, I can't you get with it. I'm I just, not. I guess I just overthink. I feel like I you're, not, you're not paying them. You're paying for the experience. It's just an expensive it's just yeah. experience. Yeah. 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 Because who? You can set a budget. I know me <laughs> you personally. Have to go when I go to the strip club, hundred dollars. Yeah, like if I have been every time I've been to the strip club, I've been with and we out and we out here. And Every time I'm throwing money too. It ain't I just, just him. Don't, I just don't get that I'm throwing money. He throwing money. Like it's, that's part of the experience. Mm. So what do you do if you don't throw money? I mean, I, but probably. honestly, I, I feel like it's okay if it's one guy out of the group. That That's don't like, but if yeah. you a whole gang of niggas that don't like being, why are why you, are you in here? Strip, I can't get with it. Like, it's like going I don't know. Tipping, like it's baby. like I'd rather that be at home or like I'm personal. I'm private. I don't. Mm. I don't like so, like strip So yo, so you oh, got okay. a pole in your house? Your girl can strip for you. You want those singles at her? I used to have a pole in my hotel. I said hotel in my <laughs> apartment. I used to have a. I used to have a. Pole. Oh, your girl dance for you and use the mm. singles at her. Nah, it was in there for a music video. I just let somebody. Nah, apartment, then what's but... the point? Nah, fuck that mm-hmm. shit. So would you ever take know. a girl you're you're dealing with to the strip club? If she want to go, I'll go. 
Was you throw money? Right. Yeah, you case. know they said. You know because I'm, I'm doing throw. it for entertainment purposes. How, yeah. how was she gonna throw? Summer Walker said that was her first date with her baby daddy London on the track. I it's said, and up. that's where you went wrong, bitch. Because look now. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Well, look. I mean, but well, she was a stripper though. She was a stripper, so she was so comfortable there. Like, yeah, that was yeah. Just fine. And as a bartender, and you know, she already like as bartenders. Yeah. Are you going on a first date for your job? No. No. Would y'all ever go to the strip club? Honestly, not going on any dates. What a nigga dating? Like as a date. As a date, I work there. I mean, <laughs> for a yeah. Date. I that mean, might just be something. It means like, that's that's a date. like a little fun a vibe. Date? Like, yeah, I love the strip club. club y'all. Every vacation I ever went on, we stopped at you strip gotta club. You got to stop at a strip club. And it be it's, my, it be my idea. Club. Miami, LA. Oh, well, let me ask. Texas. And then we can go on to the next. How many vacations you been on? Girl. In life. Girl. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Let's start with Thelma. How many <laughs> How many vacays you been on? Mm. Flew that entertainment. I'm gonna say that. 2021 vacation? or overall? Vacation? Overall. 10. Hey. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Hey, vacations. Sus. Listen. Give me the rock. Hey, and like I, actually, I actually went to one recently, too. <clears throat> talk your shit. Okay. okay. Yeah. Don't talk too much. How many yeah. vacations yeah. you been on, kid? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta do what's best for you. Gotta do what's best for you. Just... You can't count, so it's been a couple. Yeah. You been flewed out? No. Mm-hmm. And a girl never flew you out like, hey, babe, I'm trying to take us out. I wish it was more females out there like that. Most of the time, sure, I'm, the my one, nigga out. I'm the one passing out. Hey, hey, yeah. shit. Yeah. Talk your shit. I flew my nigga out for Definitely sure. Definitely flew my nigga what? out. Yeah. Gotta find the right yeah. girl. Y'all play. How many cause... times you been flewed out? <laughs> I flewed out. I'm sorry. How many vacations you been on? Um... <laughs> <laughs> she got Next. a whole lot of stuff. How many vacations you been on? I don't got no nigga links. Every vacation I went on was a <laughs> nigga that I was in a relationship with. We can just go ahead to the next topic because yeah, I ain't answer it either. No, I ain't answer it either. No, no, no. We might get to the bottom you been all over the world. Nah, hold on, hold on. Let me finish. Every I'm nigga I've ever been in a relationship <laughs> with. Fuck you. <laughs> if you want to be in a relationship with me, we have to travel. Mm-hmm. Vacations are a must every couple months. Because that's what I'm used to doing. On my, on my own. own. Yeah. So, yeah. If you, like, if I can take myself out of town every couple months, then. You can too. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. Yeah. Like, I'm not about to stop what I'm used to yeah. for a nigga. I'm dealing with, like, you, know, like, you can do it. This is who I am. Right. This is term for in. Like yeah. I said, you gotta match my vibe. When yeah. I said, the type of guy that I like, match yeah. my vibe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, Simple. Especially every birthday. What? What? Every birthday for the past five years. I'm going out of town. I'm going, going out, of out of town. Going out of town. I'm going, 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 out, of going town. out of town. Yeah, so. And I'm telling you in advance because I might go without you if you're mm-hmm. not on but, board. But I'm <laughs> telling you so you know. <laughs> you're not on board, baby. Yeah. I'll FaceTime you. Mm. So, Nay. See you when I get there. Uh, <laughs> what? Let's get with the general ball part because we, we all know what's good with the with pen. With me? With the pen. How many vacations I've been on this year or just uh, all? <laughs> we are just, we'll start with this year. Just oh. this year, I have been on me in twenty twenty one. Honest to God, I've only been on one vacation. I don't keep count. Really? Damn! I how many years be on vacation? I don't have I'm like, why you gotta count but it? I, I can't even remember. Relationships, like the past, like two, three, four years, I've been in relationships. So it was just like a natural thing. If we're going somewhere, we're going together. So yeah. it's not like no sneaky link. Yeah. Things, none of that. Like That's, it's just like. Yeah. If we, we together, we going. Yeah, we together. Yeah. We're going together. Do y'all be showing y'all dudes on Instagram when y'all be going on vacation? Fuck no. Nah. If I'm in a relationship, I'm showing my nigga. We talked about this. What was it? Episode 6? That's another six? topic. I ain't Fuck gonna lie. no. You don't y'all like feel like you gotta be showed off? I don't feel like that. Uh, I don't like the tone off. of that question. Like, I don't like what, showing people off. I mean, off. like, I don't like private life. So what we I gotta don't, show you like off for? Like, if we cool not? Show nah. you nah. If you like your yeah, girl, you gonna show her off. Why does the internet have to know everything? Like, they don't have to know everything. Because this day and age, the internet is everything. It's like, if it's not on the internet, it's not real. It's some people that even got social media. So you feel like you would rather have a private relationship? You insecure if you feel like you gotta be posted. Yeah, I can tell you how many more people that I've seen. It's just... You didn't. Sh- you haven't shown to the world because too like. Yeah, but I don't care. just think it's a nigga cheating on you, and then he Bruh. show you to the world. That's some corny shit. Yeah. Leave me off of it. I'm above the internet. Like, why I gotta be worried about if somebody know who I am and this and that? If I feel like I got a good connection, it shouldn't be. But how are you, you above the internet when that's half of your business? It is, but my life ain't. 
You think all these celebrities that's on the internet really living the life that they post on the net? No. no. And they're not even posting half the shit that they post. Yeah. Right. They like, might not act like it, but they definitely so up under their girl's pages girl girl every day too. watching Facts. to see what they doing. So at least show, show some love. Honest, it's all about showing care. love. I don't care if my girl posts me. But you're not posting her. It's what you're like saying. Like you're never gonna... No. At all. That ain't, that ain't adding to my business. Kendall. Why? Why do I need <laughs> you to You have a business page and a personal. So no, Valentine's Day. That doesn't post. make sense. Why so no happy to, Mother's yeah, Day. Yeah, my story is different. Happy birthday. Oh, I'm not posting on my of profile. Of course a story. That's a little twist. Why? Right. Right. I'm private, bro. Like, all right, if I post and then I got all these followers and everybody want to tap in with this female or whoever I'm talking to just because I posted her. Why? That ain't you, that's the only business. reason I don't post because truth be told, especially by the Adam Town shorts and I ain't never seen the one post where... If you post a nigga, don't tag him. Y'all ain't never seen never. the one post never. where, like, like, my last and then they, like, shit, made him invisible. Never got tagged. Mm-hmm. That, like, Ever. That's I'm good. That Keep that shit private. Like, why yeah. I gotta be? Yeah, I ain't gonna hold it. I got a girl name that came, popped out, Mary out of nowhere. I saw on Instagram. Who? Issa Rae. Yes. Like, but yes. you can't come for... We didn't even know she was in a relationship. You, you can't come for... <laughs> nah, Issa, that's, she's, that's she's top tier. Bad. See how that's she did it? Why I do that? That's top tier. Me? Honestly... Which I'm bubbling. Pop out. Like, if we ain't, if we ain't on YouTube, I, like I feel like cool. if I have a prize, I'm no showing money. it off. If I, I got a prize, like I'm showing it off. I'm not about to post you all, 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 all the time. That's a prize but thing. But you're like, people gonna know what's up with me and you. I ain't like, showing hey. shit off. It ain't no point. <laughs> <bro>. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I feel that. We're in this day and age that, that. If we get in the bag together, is. all right, I'll post you. But if people, we ain't doing nothing outside of making But you know, people that watch the you, that envy you, that don't like you, they are saying they friends. They are saying it don't matter what yeah. it is. You and your guy, your girl could be perfectly fine. Together. Some, together. Somebody that's showing like, somebody to see, whatever, they'll, they'll go for it. They'll yeah. go for your partner yeah. immediately yeah. just because they think that you're happy. And then y'all know, we discussed this too. About people thinking they could get your significant other and thinking they're gonna get the same thing mm-hmm. that you're gonna get, right? And it's ne- and it almost never mm-hmm. like that, yeah. yeah, ever, yeah, yeah. I mean, I agree, Shit. but at, private, to a private extent, life, happy life. That's what I look. At. I feel like I'm never about to wife a nigga that I feel like will put me in that situation. Like, period. Like, if I'm posting you, I know. 100%. At least let the world know that you I'm got somebody. At least one. Niggas. Like, let them know. Like, the I got story. a girl. Yeah, but I ain't got to have you on the my story. profile page. Why? I feel like, but what's the reason, though? Why? I'm least, confused. What's the what reason? What was the reason? Like, man, privacy, is it going to hurt your man. business? Do you feel like this it ain't going to hurt my business, like but it ain't add to my response. business either. Is this a trauma response? your girl. You never know. Hold on, hold on, Wait a minute. If I get married, all right, I'm going to post it. But okay. Anything before then? Nah. So but say, listen, so say you're engaged thirsty, and you're yeah. this you're engaged. Thirsty, so but you have to trust your partner to know that she don't give a fuck about this. Exactly. Business, right? But this the thing. Let me let me let me let me let me let me spit to story you, Kendall is cool. shooter. <laughs> let me holler at you. Let if me. If I ahead. post you on my story, I ain't even I ain't even gonna tell you. Let me holler at you. I mean that's fine. You that's where that's her? where everybody comes from. Let me holler at you, my guy. Yeah, you never. So been. your girl, look, she got a little following. Just say you in a relationship with a girl, she got a little following. You're a videographer. This is what you do. You post her, she reposts it, and it might be a couple guys or somebody that already have been looking at your stuff. And I'm like, oh, well, he deal with her, so shit. He might be, and believe it or not, sometimes it works that way. It you does. probably don't have no credentials ever in life, but because you, that's that networking shit, but because you know this person, you know this person, they might want to fuck with you See, just because you posted though. your girl. That's different. Right. That's that was different, different. Yeah. Because if it's something that could add to my business, cool. But so, it would so, add to your business if you're not posting a bitch. But if she got more following... And she popping. Okay, that's it. Don't gotta to be business. more following though. I know so people with five hundred followers on Instagram that can hold so on. much. It ain't even. Yeah. It ain't even about. <laughs> it ain't even about like necessarily adding to my business. It's just like, is it worth me posting her? Like, what is me posting her on my shit gonna do? To reveal your personal business. Like for mm-hmm. what? Like, you know what I'm saying? The internet's so fugazi nowadays. Like everybody Facts. want everybody to know everything, bro. Mm-hmm. No, not I everybody. I be at home with. Fucking Jack and Jill doing me, and I ain't gotta tell the internet that. Like, yeah, I mean, I feel like there's pros and cons to what you're saying. Like, it, I just like feel like the internet women, is too, as internet women, too, like it's too open right now. I don't, I don't, I'm like private. I'm a behind the scenes dude, so when it comes to certain stuff, like. I get thrown off by a certain motherfucker liking my shit or watching my story. Like, mm-hmm. like I just don't trust everything on the internet, so yeah. it's like. I shouldn't have to way. tell you what I got going on mm-hmm. so now you can backdoor me or I think that's do this some or Virgo that. shit like, or something. I don't know. It might be some, it's some Virgo, Virgo shit because not everything. every guy's like that. It'd be I like, I'll post my girl. We're talking about Virgos like that, like, on the last 
this episode. Like, I, I, I just feel like it's unnecessary. You, wow. I'm a, you, I'm a, I'm you a rarely tag him, though. I'm rarely, very rarely. I don't rarely. tag him. But you post them. But I, I mean, but I post them like on my story for the most part. Yeah, yeah. you. I don't yeah. think I've ever even thought about profile story, like mm-hmm. changed it. But the thing is, Nothing like that. I'm just private. People watch private the story more than like they like the picture. Everybody in my right. Shit. Yeah, if y'all like, really look private. at it, you get more story views than them picture likes. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah, for sure. yeah. But I don't think I count. I feel that. like, like I just want... don't care. I think yeah. so. It's like I know it's who I'm preference. going home to. It is perfect, mm-hmm. and he don't be like. Like damn, you ain't everybody living on your in this, uh, yeah. like, this internet. Everybody life. don't care, so it's like the internet we don't world care. is different like, than reality. I feel like, like me now, together. like if it was no internet, we'll still be together. Yeah, yeah. I feel like me now personally, like I would never like. Period. I never posted a nigga ever that I was not in a relationship with. Like if we're mm-hmm. in a relationship, then okay, I'm gonna post you. Like, but my last relationship. He probably got posted maybe once or twice. Like, Why? Because he was a hoe? No. Oh. No, this, that was the best shit before last. Oh, okay. Last time I posted a nigga, I think I was in high school. Yeah. Literally. Yeah. I ain't posting on nigga now, relationship or not. That's good. I, I, yeah. I feel I, like, like now. Don't do it. I feel like you're now. You're embarrassed. I'm just, like, <laughs> I feel like the sure. internet is it, getting it really more is. out of hand. Did you guys have posted somebody y'all break up? But it might be getting out of hand. What happened to that's y'all? That's what I'm saying. Um, Why they gotta know but everything? I feel like, I feel like that's, a, that's a, like, I, I feel like that's an insecurity thing. Because at the end of the day, people break up. That's life. That's yeah, okay. People so why are you scared to show internet. people that your relationship didn't work out? What, what, what's but wrong why with do I gotta tell anybody outside of my close friends that we didn't I mean, but at the bro, same time you saying. know that's always that thing that people say there's a difference between being private and being sneaky you can post your significant yeah. other without motherfuckers knowing your business yeah. that's true mm-hmm. that's you know what, what I'm saying because yeah. you can post your significant other and they might even may not even know that is your significant other mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying that's why you don't tag them Okay. I guess whatever. But, but I think the internet yeah. has got way too much emphasis. All this tagging. Yeah. Maybe I'm just, oh, I don't know. You know, my <laughs> face was, all this emphasis well, shit was about like the number one friend. What was it? Not I'm not gonna lie. No, my my nigga gonna be in my top oh, 10 on my face. No, my face. <laughs> like, in, in my top 10. My face. Like, you had your nigga on your face. You know what I'm saying? Number one. That's my man. And I know y'all saying like the internet is too much now, but the internet is supposed to be everybody feel like they is the way now. That's all it is. Social media is the way. You feel like you something. Money off of it for sure. It's the I way, like- but it doesn't have to be like your way. Like it's and we the way- saying that as millennials, but Gen Z. They don't feel like that. Yeah, they're they're not gonna feel like that. And y'all gotta think like that. about it. It's such a small age gap. They barely gap. on the internet. But we yeah. went through Jay Z. Like, Jay Z. G- G- <laughs> Generation Z. Oh, Generation Z. Z. Oh, no, my. we talk about the kids growing up now, and it's it's literally such a small gap because I noticed like we graduated 2012. People like the kids that graduated 2015, 2016. They're I feel different. like they're a whole. They're, they're way the totally different yeah. than yeah. us. Like we. But they also grew, so grew up with tablets. They grew up with that's tablets. And that's what they yeah. 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 grew up yeah. with fucking dial up and like can't get on the phone and use the computer. Like, right. So you wasn't using the computer. Yeah, we had the best of both worlds. We yeah. got what it is now and then we had Old we had what shit. it used to be. Yeah, yeah I think so, Instagram only been around for what? Since 2012? 20. 11 probably like 11 it was right when we was on our way out of high school and then it's only on iPhones and then they made it for everybody 2021 now so what's that 8 years yeah 8 to 9 years give or take no 10 next year yeah 10 next year that's crazy yeah 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 and just see how fast like stuff to change since the end though like now everybody's I know, so it's like crazy. oh my god I gotta show mm-hmm. everything it's yes. TikTok now Every, it's like, look at what I mean TikTok my space that's why I feel like pri- they, like they losing us with this TikTok trend cause our generation is not really on TikTok, TikTok how this generation <laughs> is like <laughs> you know, but no TikTok know. you can learn a lot from TikTok if you're not yeah. like it depends on who you're following just like with Instagram like for me social media it all depends on how you're consuming it. Like, yeah. I don't, like, of course, I follow the blog pages for, like, what's going on. Like, of course, could be used it for content and talk about it. Because that's what people, like, are, uh, that's appealing to our audience. But for me, like, 
I don't follow a lot of like just regular people. If I don't know you, like I'm not following you. Like I follow mm-hmm. business moguls, spiritual pages, like shit like that. Like I want to be mindful of what I'm consuming. I'm mm-hmm. not trying to consume no regular ass shit because at the end of the day, my goal is not to be regular. Yeah. So right. I want to know what's going on in the tier above me. I want to be mindful of that. What they doing? How they moving? How they get mm-hmm. there? Like, I'm not, you know, nowadays a lot of people are following, like, a lot of regular yeah. ass people. That's what I feel like no. make them so insecure because they're comparing themselves so, to yep. people yeah. mm-hmm. who are low-key probably lying about who they are yeah. on mm-hmm. the internet. Like, they got like, all these Birkins. I want a Birkin, too. Yeah, like, that right. shit. Don't give me that like, ugly ass bag. Come on, yeah. now. I don't, it I, is I've ugly. never even seen a Birkin. Shit. It's ugly. You've that seen shit, a Birkin. It's a, it's I mean, a, you've seen never, it. I've never you just haven't that. noticed it enough because it's not all of that. It's literally it's all big, entertainment. It's, it's big. It's, it's literally bulky. All it's like, who want to carry around a big ass entertainment bag? Don't get me wrong. If I ever get over the top bridge, yeah, I have one just to sit in the closet, but... You know what I'm saying? I don't have a couple. I ain't gonna lie. But I'm not about to be carrying that shit all day, every day. Yeah, like, that's, that's situational. Like, you know, depending on the situation. But yeah, so we're about to get to our last segment. Because he, you know, ran a long time. It's a good is, conversation, though. I'll fuck with yeah. y'all. We cannot already talk about that. Oh, okay. What, the outside? Oh, damn. Yeah, COVID. Yeah. Facts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so <laughs> we want to get into our Set the Mood segment. As y'all know, our Set the Mood segment is when we talk about Music we're listening to, TV shows we're watching, Netflix and chilling to, all that type of shit. So, what are y'all listening to right now? Any new music? Any new shows y'all binge watching? Or it could be new or old, either or. Now, I like Manifest. Y'all seen that shit? That too. I'm on season three. three. You shouldn't say that. I just got hit. <laughs> yes, I'm on really season good. three. You just got hit? I, I love that hit. deep it's shit. I love that stuff. I love, I don't love, know. Stuff that okay. make you think. Yeah. Make you think. Yeah. Yeah. And the fact that they stopped the show, the government, they said, oh, oh y'all talking too I much. I know. <laughs> y'all talking I too know, much. Right? Stop that show. Yeah. Yeah, that shit's serious. Because I feel like it make that a show like that, I feel like stuff that make people question their existence in the way the world operates as a whole they don't fuck with that because people are gonna dig want to dig deeper yep. and deeper and deeper just like so, Ozark when they o- stopped Ozark yeah Ozark I'm sorry that about shit, that money laundering shit that, that, lo- that shit was yeah. very realistic yeah. it and was very said, very mm, y'all doing too much. too much cut the funding too yeah. real <laughs> yeah we don't cut want nobody funding. getting no you're idea you're not gonna tell me that shit didn't happen somewhere in the country oh for sure, for sure. No, no, I, I actually think it's like the casino shit off a true story for sure yeah that casino shit is real so we really got money going on around there what about Music, you be like, music. music. I ain't gonna hold you. Um, Wizkid, see, y'all okay. like Wizkid. Yeah. Oh my God, I like the Afro beats. Justin Bieber being on the remix. They don't need no other body. Period. Yeah. Why the fuck yeah. I add Justin Bieber on Why that shit? Why would they gentrify the summer anthem? Girl, you better keep it diversified. I'm Ghanaian. I'm Ghanaian. So mm-hmm. like when I see a lot of American no offense American artists on the track I'm like why yeah but they do it for the money yeah that's how Africans are no yeah. offense mm-hmm. yeah when the bag is there they, they don't go for it yeah, yeah. for whatever to but make they don't the money. need that though yeah y'all are perfect without that do y'all listen to that uh, new Dolph Paper Rat Illuminati no. Ooh. Not, yet. not yet he got some hits on there he do Dolph. You yeah, yeah. like that? <laughs> but, but he said this was his last one. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So I just that heard about that. Hard. You don't miss it. That shit is hard. Nas, 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 Nas one of them ones that don't miss it. That's what you, you yeah. like it? Yeah, 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 yeah
I'm gonna yeah, get the innocent back. Did you see that he just got oh. he just put a tattoo on his arm? Saying like, 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 don't release yeah. any of my unreleased music. Who said that? Yeah, innocent, innocent back. back. Like he got his hat it like right here. So when he died, mm-hmm. it says like pretty much don't release any of my unreleased yeah. music. Like because they I don't, still gonna do it. I don't want them to be out. <laughs> they are. If he signed, he gets if money. Yeah, if money's involved, and he's still on that contract. Leah's music. Yeah, I heard about that too. That's I'm private. I, you honestly, know what I mean? Yeah. Just leave that shit alone. Normandy yeah. and them. I mean, don't honestly, I've been like, trying to download it, so it's not. I mean, when you sign your contract, Normandy and them go act like they, they didn't sample a Leah B off that song. Oh, yeah, no money? Yeah. yeah. Oh, what I say? Normandy? Norm- yeah, yeah, Normandy. Normandy. <laughs> they sampled that shit. <laughs> she did. Yeah, yeah, she did. For sure, you for sure. Thank you. Yeah. But okay, so for me personally, um, TV show wise, I've been watching American Horror Story. I've heard about that. Mm-hmm. It's not the same as American Horror Story. It's not a full season, but it's like four episodes and it's four different stories. Mm-hmm. And I love American Horror Story because I'm like into horror. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And each season, I like how they have a different theme. It's a completely different story, but they keep the same actors. Mm-hmm. So every season, the act the actor plays a different role, mm-hmm. a completely new, mm-hmm. different role, like something completely different from what they played before. So that's one of my favorite shows. I've you been watching watch Monster that. Land too. Monster Land, like Land. too. Yeah, yeah. It's like four. It's like one season. It's like four or five episodes. But it's mm-hmm. like they stream really that on. Good. That's on Netflix too. It's on Hulu actually. Oh, okay. Hulu, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's, it's it's really really good. It's like the American same. Horror Story. That's on Hulu it's the same too. Thing. Oh, okay. So Shout out to Shana for the Y'all's for new power. Uh, I never got into power. I, I stopped watching it after fan. Ghost died. I ain't yeah, yeah, they're not playing Fifty yeah. Cent. Uh, uh, uh. Now yeah. the Raising Canaan story. I don't like it. Good. I do like, you like it. it. You like but that? I, I do. I'm not I do. all the way caught up, but I do I like do. it. It's kind of mm-hmm. giving you that American guest. The mom is an actor. Y'all see Fifty Cent trying to put Taraji on blast, and then trying to say she he wanted her on the show. Yeah, that was weird. That was weird. But I didn't know y'all. Okay, I had to look it up because I don't know the name for sure. But have y'all watched Fear Street? Fear Street Part 1, 1994. No, no. Where is that? It's like some witchcraft <laughs> shit. What is it? Wait, 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 wait. It's on Netflix. It's oh, three What is it called? Okay. It's Fear called Street. Fear Street 1994. Fear Street Part 1, 1994. Okay. Okay. And, then it's, that's and then it's two more after <laughs> that. <laughs> it's basically, Listen, it's not Fear all Street. about witchcraft, but it's basically based on this curse that this city is called Shady Side and Sunny Side, the town. That's what it's called. Okay. Mm-hmm. And everything always, ha- everything bad always happens on Shady Side because they're cursed. Mm. But it's it's some shit you really gotta pay attention to while you watching. But it's yeah. good, y'all. Right. Okay. Go huh. try it. I'm gonna get into mm. that. Um, as far as music, K Cam just dropped a new album. K Cam, he still make music. I love K Cam, but he makes his though. K Cam, I do love K Cam. do make K Cam is a gem. High school parties between like middle school parties. Like I'm not gonna say he's like a Drake type. But he like he's just like a vibe. I wouldn't even put him in no. Type nah, he of make category. good music. He yeah. does yeah. like it's kind of like a Ty Dolla Sign. Like just make a good. Yeah. Ty Dolla Sign is yeah, a yeah, gem. Yeah. Ty Dolla Sign. He just dropped a new gym. album. I really fuck with that. So that's kind of what I've been listening to. Do y'all listen to Snow Allegra? Oh yeah. yeah. I don't know these new artists. No, you know Snow. You done heard. No, oh, you done heard. I need some music. I need to hear some music. Oh, and she a vibe yeah, too. It's real mellow. Yeah. And you know, some people try to compare her to um. Sade. It, it never but she goes. said she's not no, no Sade. Sade though. Like, Ever. No, no, no. And she said that on Instagram no, post. sing as long as Sade do in the first place. Right. Yeah. Snow, like Snow, Snow got some hits on that new yeah. album. She got Pharrell on there. She got, I'm trying to think of who else is on there. I've yeah. Pharrell though. Pharrell's like, a gem. I love Pharrell. A gem. Like, I just love him. I just love yeah. Pharrell. For, we need to give Pharrell his flowers for yes. sure I feel like any like yes. Neptune's period yeah. like the early 2000s they dominated the early 2000s and I also feel like any Pharrell and Jay-Z collab was always fire. Top, of, fire. top of the charts like fire. I still what do y'all um, to feel day. about the locks and the dip set versus I ain't even watch it I what? Watch it either but I did go to, I went to the Jenny Kiss concert this Jenny weekend and that was lit and that was disappointing yeah that was fire I didn't see you it was fire yeah that was fire I was, was disappointed hot. in Dipset because Fab I love Dipset. Off, though. I don't know. I ain't like you ain't like part. him? <laughs> nah. You didn't like Fat? He really? was the ending? Yeah, I didn't think he was that dope. Stop playing. That's uh, who the people came to see. I mean, granted, but he didn't He didn't play a lot of records that I knew. Like, yeah, because uh, he don't have a lot of mainstream records. A, a 
I would have like, like Jada Kiss. That's shit. he. He should have. He, he should have headlined the, it. What's the one? The Jada got the energy. One, huh? It's like the one with the cassette tape. I forgot what it's called. Yeah, Jada tapes, came out. The yeah. whole yeah. crowd yeah. was rocking, boy. That. Because Jada Kiss, he not only has the energy, but he has the he confidence, got hits, bro. Yeah, what like Jada got Kiss, hits. Fab got some underground shit. He do. Fab has always been underground. Don't discredit my nigga. I mean, he got that ball drop and then that one song, Breathe, that he performed. But all the other stuff, I didn't even know. Mm-hmm. I like bombs though. I, I should have heard some Lil Mo, him and Lil Mo or something. Like. <laughs> right? Yeah, he could have did a Lil Mo record because he his older shit is way more his. You was there too? Put yeah, out for sure. Recently, me? Yeah. No, nah, I didn't go. Oh, okay. I would have went, but I don't I went, be. It was hot. Nah, it was it was <laughs> lit. I enjoyed <laughs> that hot, show, but it was lit. But as far as the versus I battle, was uh, I was so disappointed in Dipset. Like I'm diehard. What songs they got? What? I'm a diehard. Oh, what? <laughs> well, I'm not even about to get they into got, that because yeah. that'll, that'll they put us over the time. Hits. But I love Cameron. Mm-hmm. Cameron is my spirit. But animal. he didn't do his job. He did. he did not. That's why I was so so disappointed. But at the end of the day, I got to get credit where it's due because Jada he stole the show. But if you went he to a concert. Show. Cam did his job at nah, the time. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. I he enjoyed did. his job. I, I enjoyed because his he felt too. like he probably had mm-hmm. to redeem himself. I enjoyed himself. his set. I yeah. Like he did. yeah. And he was the first one. That's why I said Fabulous didn't, he didn't Cam do it Cam should have came out in the pink coat. What? That's what they said. That's if he would have came out in the pink coat, he would have. <laughs> what? The crowd would have went crazy. Who was your PR? Because you should have came out in the pink coat. Man, yeah. They so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They so. But y'all gotta think about it. Dipset has broken up and get back together mm-hmm, so yeah. much over like the yeah. past year. Did years. y'all see like, Jim Jones fall? There's no you <laughs> I seen it after. I seen it on the internet. Man, what? He said he didn't fall. He said he dropped his ring and he went into the crowd to go get it. I don't know. It was so much shit going on, y'all. Oh, it was but so his much going was crispy, on. I heard. And yeah. I, I, I don't know that Jim Jones. Yeah. I ain't see yeah. It. Did he marry Chrissy yet? Not yet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's another topic for another day. Mm-hmm. Man. Good conversation. Professional girlfriend. I love these conversations. Sh- shit, yeah. y'all should have okay, yes, quick one girl. Could, could y'all be with somebody that long and not get Not get married. No, no, no. no. I got to go. After two years, if I was... She probably got <laughs> What are you doing with me? Especially at this age. Are you playing around with me? I'm not going to hold y'all. There are some people... And we can't we can't relate She's to this because we're not that old yet. Mm-hmm. But there are some people in this world, they might have been through uh, a divorce before. Lot. They've been through marriage and all right. that. They don't want so to do that no Oprah, more. No, she makes Oprah sense. She expressed that she wanted to get married, though. She proposed to him. <laughs> exactly. She proposed to him. Never. She expressed Man, that, that been she wanted to be too, though. married. See, that's not how I I would never get on the knees for no nigga. I'm sorry. It ain't nothing about a storyline. That's all it is, just a storyline. Just like I feel like Andy on Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. Storyline. No yeah. lot of whatever. Did, did y'all see her TikTok? <laughs> Who TikTok? Yandy's trash. <laughs> Yandy. Trash. That was some of the funniest oh. shit I've watched in there. Wow. Yeah. She that was girl crying. was going to do tell she was trying. She was about trying. her and her family. She only adopted yeah. her for a storyline. And now they want to kick her out. That's another wow. story for another That's day, too. too. Much. Mm-hmm. But yeah, so anything else y'all want to before we wrap it up? No. Uh, what y'all say sure. y'all got coming up? Lay on me. Any events coming up? I ain't got too much coming up necessarily, but I got a merch line, you know. But what? Uh, If you don't have too much coming up, what did you just do? What was just going on with you? Oh, yeah, the one-year anniversary. I had a one-year anniversary the week before. Congratulations. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. uh, Thank you for the invite. We opened a production studio um, out in Westchester. So we got a green screen, a white infinity wall. We got graffiti sets. We got a classroom. We also do like different networking events there. We even thinking about like setting up a podcast room, stuff like that. So um, if you y'all interested in booking that you know oh, uh, sure. follow us at studio media company on instagram we also mm-hmm. got a website studio media and uh yeah yeah and follow me tv media underscore underscore on instagram any artists looking for some badass bitches mm-hmm. hit me up that's uh, yeah. i told you i'm gonna put you <laughs> on with our videographer because he be me and girls yeah, yeah, you know yeah. yeah so y'all can network but yeah so that's where people can find y'all if y'all, they need to book anything yeah, yeah. yeah. which i just want okay yeah. okay uh, okay perfect. thank you so much yeah. for having us yeah. Yeah. Thank you for coming. Coming. Yeah. Yes, yes yes it was so mm-hmm. fun mm-hmm. anything else y'all want to add mm-hmm. before we wrap it up that's no, it we're good. okay well this has been another episode of no, no filters, filters a podcast, podcast.